Today, we are gonna hear of a saint that had some miraculous gifts and supernatural abilities, Saint Padre Pio. Welcome to All That Catholic Stuff Saints series. I'm Catholic speaker and musician, Chris Bray. St. Padre Pio was born in 1887 in Italy. He was born to a family of simple peasant farmers and at the age of five had already decided to offer and give his life in service of God. In his youth, he reportedly experienced ecstatic visions which led him to be drawn to a life as a friar. However, in order to be eligible, his father actually left Italy to go to North America to pursue work so that he could pay for further education and tutoring so that St. Padre Pio would be eligible for the Capuchin Order. Throughout his life, he suffered severe sickness and worsening health conditions. However, he also did receive some incredible spiritual gifts and miraculous abilities. His fellow friars would witness him bilocate, which means he would be in two places at one time. He received the gift of the stigmata, which are the wounds of Christ, which would come periodically. They would smell sweet and they would never get infected. He also received gifts such as levitation, the gift of healing and being able to speak in tongues. As news began to spread of the miraculous abilities of this holy man, people would come from miles around to seek spiritual advice and to have their confession heard. What's incredible is that he would be hearing their confession, but if they would withhold a sin, he would know it and he would call them out on it. Personally, I would find that kind of confession extremely intimidating. Very beneficial, but extremely intimidating. However, all of this popularization eventually attracted the attention of the Vatican, which removed him from public ministry. They started conducting an investigation based on negative testimony that they had received of him. However, after years of scrutiny by the Vatican, the Pope released a statement of validity of St. Padre Pio, of his miracles, of his gifts and abilities, and reinstated him to public ministry. He died in 1968, and he is a testament of holiness and virtue to the world. Personally, I think we can learn two really important aspects of his life. I think we can learn from his willingness to endure suffering. One of his very last statements, he says, my real mission begins after my death meaning that he intended to continually be interceding for us even after his passing from this life. But also the second thing I think we can learn from his life is his obedience. That even while he was under scrutiny, while he was removed from public ministry, that he was obedient to that. That is a great sign of humility. And he happens to be the patron saint of civil defense, adolescents, volunteers, and stress relief. And so let's pray together in the sign of our faith, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord God, we thank you for this incredible gift, the life of Saint Padre Pio. Thank you for the incredible signs and works that you performed through his life and his willingness to surrender to you, his willingness to take on suffering for the sake of others, Lord, we pray that you would inspire in us a desire to surrender in a similar way. A new desire to move towards holiness so that we can receive, by detaching from this life, what you have for us. Lord, would you change and transform our hearts? We thank you for his great example in his life. And Lord, would you help us to be more like you by your grace. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Padre Pio, pray for us. Just like St. Padre Pio relied on his father to go pursue work in North America in order to pay for his ministry efforts, in a similar way, I rely on generous people like yourself that are able to contribute and support the ministry work that I'm doing. All of the videos and the talks and the series and the music and the books take time and money to produce, and I need help from people like yourselves who are willing to support this ministry so that we can allow the gospel to be shared and the fullness of truth to be spoken to a world who is longing to know Jesus. Because I'm not able to travel right now due to COVID-19, what I normally present to tens of thousands each year in churches and schools, I'm bringing online, building an online community of faith so that we can be inspired and equipped to share and live the Catholic faith. I'd love for you to be part of this community. When you're a patron, you get access to my music and talks and books and series and live streams and all that great stuff, but most especially, you become part of a faith community because we were never meant to be in this alone. We're never meant to be isolated because we are all members of the body of Christ and we need to come together. I wanna to ask for you to consider supporting this ministry to get access to all of these great faith resources, but also be part of this missionary work so that we can give hope to a world who is longing to know the person of Jesus Christ. Go to patreon.com slash Chris Bray to learn more. Thanks and God bless. Longing I turn.